Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new episode of my journey to Masters and this one we're gonna be starting things off at Diamond 1 36 LP. The previous episode we ended up duo queuing with Wreck and we both ended up uh, at the same elo. So we were at 20 at first and we both ended off at... I don't know if he ended off at 36, but he must have been really close. But regardless, we went 3-2 and two for the previous episode. Not too bad, and, you know, it's still positive one game, which is... Obviously, you know, regardless, a good thing. It's not the best result, but it's better than obviously going down the game, right? So, regardless, 36 LP, Diamond 1, gonna have to win some games, gonna have to go positive. Of course, we have to keep going positive every single episode. As long as we're up one win, we're getting uh, closer to Masters, uh, slowly but surely. So, without much further ado, let's press that rank solo button, confirm that shit. Let's just not waste any time, man. Let let's, let's keep us balling. I wouldn't mind playing the new champ, and I wouldn't mind playing some uh, Ezreal, maybe some Lucian. So let's go ahead and do that, and uh, yeah, let's just get this party underway. Let's fucking do it, man. Let's go. All right, guys, the first game is about to begin. Gonna be playing Zaya down on the bot lane with a one-trick Zyra support. Now, our team is looking pretty okay. Not really that amazing, honestly, because we don't have, like, a true front line. Uh, I guess Cannon and Rangar could be a little bit tanky and chilling in the front, but I don't know. I think their comp is a lot better, honestly. They have a Rumble Jungle Shen top, it looks like. TF mid, something like that. I don't know. That's what it looks like, but either way. Game number one, about to begin. Not feeling too hot about this one, um, but it'll just come down to us just being simply better than they are. So let's go, man. Let's do it. Okay, the Rengar's fed. <laughs> Fucking busted! Oh my god! Okay, that, we actually played that pretty well. I don't know what the rumble was doing. That guy tilted really hard there, it looks like. That should have went a lot better. I, I thought the Zyra flank there, not the flank, but I thought the Zyra turnaround would be a lot better than that. I mean, we still got the kill, but I don't know. Definitely thought it would be better than that. Live! Tippers is gonna go off though. I fucked up. I kind of flashed in there being really gre uh, greedy. Oh my god. Dude, I don't think you got him actually. Maybe you do? If you. You're dead. God, I'm playing so bad. I missed my ult completely. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm actually playing like a monkey. We ended up getting Baron and 2 kills, so I'll take that, that's pretty fucking worth. Now I have my IE, which I need to pick up right now. IE is gonna be a huge buy for me. This is like, gonna be like a... I'm assuming this should be a really big power spike, right? It only makes sense for it to be. Cool. I don't do shit. Well, I mean, yeah. I, uh, hmm. 
not not the not my i mean i actually didn't do too bad in damage i have to say i pretty much matched ezreal in damage and everything so i don't know i guess it's not too bad i guess it's not too bad at all definitely didn't play well but not as bad as i thought it did either so gg well played gg well played chaos rain thank you for the carry man very helpful very 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 helpful but let's queue into next game let's continue on that win streak let's go man let's do it all right guys the next game is about to begin gonna be playing zerath in the mid lane now we're facing a shako tf which is uh, a little bit annoying because if tf ever flash stuns me i'm gonna be actually you know what i'm gonna have to go cleanse here i think cleanse here is really good against tf cleanse is fantastic because if he ever stuns you you just cleanse it and you walk away because tf heavily 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 relies on the gold card to actually secure the kills and you know, land his q and uh things like that so i think this is a really smart pickup now I think Zerath is slowly coming back into the meta, so I want to I want to play him. I want to bust him out. I used to play him a decent amount, so I really want to like just test him out this game, just see how he feels and how he is. And I'm feeling pretty decent about our team comp. We have what the probably the best ADC at the very moment. Thresh is, I mean, if you're good at Thresh, you know it's a pretty busted champion as well. And I don't know, I'm actually feeling pretty okay. We have a nice front line with the uh, Rexai. We got like a you know mid front line ish kind of champ with Rumble. Pretty decent lineup overall. Not bad, not bad. But Shaco, if he gets ahead is going to be obnoxious as hell. So we just got to hope that Shaco doesn't get snowballed and we're, I think we're in a pretty decent spot. Either way, let's jump into this. Let's go, man. Let's do it. Damn. I feel like I didn't need to flash there, but I really want to secure because I thought, I, I figured like in my mind is like, if I stun him, he's dead. But unfortunately, unfortunately, of all the people to stun, the TF just happened to just happen to have the gold card ready and stun of all people. The Thresh. If the Thresh wasn't stunned there, he would have landed the Q with my stun and we would have killed him. And I still have my cleanse, but Shaka might look for the camp smith just because I have no flash now. So I have to play pretty safe until my flash is out, or until I can just get my Q going. Okay, maybe Zarath was a bad pick this game. They have so many things to just fuck my ass with. I don't know. If I get trapped in Yorg's W, I'm dead. If I get changed to see by Leona, I'm dead. If Shaka goes behind me, like I'm pretty much dead. Okay, well that game was fucking disgusting. That, what a what a horrible game. Like I don't know. Shaco camped me, so I ended up fucking just losing mid lane. Every lane lost on top of that. So it's not like I just lost mid lane. Shaco camped me and I lost. Top lane lost. Bot lane lost. Jungle lost. Every lane lost. That's just one of those games where literally everyone loses and you just everyone deserves to lose. It, it just it is what it is. Let's just go to the next game. That game just doesn't even out of my mind did not happen all right guys the next game is about to begin gonna be playing twitch in the ball lane as of course in adc now something happened i was in uh champs like i already dodged one game because we had like a horrible team comp and then next game i was in a champ select and i had the stupid you know the top of the new client you clicked icons for like a specific class role i had it selected on mage but the last second instead of going twisted fate i decided to go fizz so i typed in f5 or fizz and i couldn't find them because i forgot that i had the stupid thing still selected so it was still showing me champions with the word characters fi in them that are also grouped in the mage class not the assassin class and i ended up not picking him fast enough and dodging and losing 10 lp or whatever the lp is you lose for two dodges so we're down to like 22 lp or some shit which is fucking bullshit not happy about that at all but i guess we'll see what happens so with all that being said and done let's jump into this game let's play let's do it man let's go That was a pretty solid bait. That gave me my, what's it called, my Blade of the Rune King. Now, we can actually potentially get this tower. And I think this is the first tower in the game. Yes, it is. That'd be really nice to have. And then I can just transition mid and hopefully go for that push as well. Solid bait, though. Solid bait. I'm actually up in CS as well, which is also a good thing. Okay, I'm just trying to farm out for the uh, the hurricane. That's gonna be a really big pickup for me. I'm not too far away from it either. Mm 
Okay, I have my BF sword. Oh god, please come here. What the f Are blues warded or what? Nice jump. What the fuck? Oh, is our blue warded? Is there like a control word in there? Or there has to be a control word in there. There's no way, man. There's no fucking way that this area, me back in there, they would know about. Unless there has to be a control word. That thrash man, he, he chose the wrong neighborhood to wander through. Good, right. give me assist on that shit. Okay, well, there's that game, I guess. I don't know, man. I keep getting 80 carry, and I don't have to really do a whole lot. Like, I don't think I did bad, but I definitely didn't do great. I, I was just kind of there. You know, I'm just along for the ride, essentially. Um, had a couple of unfortunate circumstances, but the Kha'Zix, 15-3. Again, the jungler just hard carry. I mean, I'm telling you, the jungler just has so much impact in this elo, just in general. All right, well, that's that game. So let's go ahead and kill for the next game. Yeah, I like the philo. I do like the philo, man. Let's go. I like it. All right, guys. So what may potentially be the final game of this episode is about to begin. Going to be playing Zed in the mid lane against Ari. Ari is uh, not too bad of a matchup against Zed. Um, I feel like she's it's pretty even, honestly. It's pretty even. Maybe Ari has a very slight upper hand, actually. Uh, maybe like 60% to 40% in Ari's favor. It's not like completely crazy, but a good Ari player shouldn't die to Zed, in my honest opinion. So we'll see how good this Ari is. Um, so far, we're two wins and one loss in this episode. One of the losses was horrible. Like, every lane lost. That game sucked ass. Two of the wins, I got carried by my jungler. Both games, actually. It's funny. So I'm hoping this game, you know, we can actually... We, we, we can put on the... Uh, we, we can put our foot on the pedal and just go ham and make some plays and hard carry. I want to be the carry this game. I don't want to be carried... I enjoyed being carried two games, but I want to carry this game. So let's focus. Let's win. We're playing Zed. My bread and butter champion, my boy. Let's fucking do it. You, 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 no, no, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Oh. That was actually a pretty clean kill on the Kha'Zix. You got absolutely destroyed there. I hate this Evelyn, this Evelyn is just, oh, just open, just open. Literally one mistake and just open. I don't know man, we can't win this game. Our ball lane is non-existent and this Evelyn literally has said open mid. A million times this game. Like, you can't make- you make one mistake anywhere, like, one thing just doesn't go the, exactly the way you want it, and this guy just spams open mid in chat, open mid, open mid, you suck, open mid, open mid, like, what? Like, chill? Negative attitude, fucking... Like, he didn't feed or anything, just negative attitude as hell, dude. Maybe a little bit of verbal harassment there, too. Uh, I don't know, guys. I'm gonna stop this episode, though. I don't know. I'm actually, like, pretty upset this one. I don't know. That, that game tilted the shit out of me. A lot of really stupid things that happened that made me really upset, uh, and then just, like, the Evelyn, just, holy shit, that Evelyn is just... 
I'd never want to play with him ever in my life entire like ever again like ever I hate people that do that I hate people that make just spam forfeit and open mid and chat like over and over like you, you literally take his CS and he spams open mid like like relax either way guys we're at 22 LP so unfortunate you know technically we, we're in terms of MR we're still in the same spot that we were in uh, from the previous episode like we're supposed to be at like 34 ish LP but again I had I dodged twice the first time because I wanted to the second time because I couldn't pick my champion fast enough because the new client is just not good honestly but they need to fix that i don't know i don't like how they do that part but uh yeah thank you so much for watching hopefully the next episode will be a little bit better the diamond one climb is fucking hard and it's a struggle and it's tilting as shit but once we get the masters it'll feel so damn fucking good so i'm just i'm really looking forward to that just gotta play better gotta tilt less and just gotta play more consistently and everything and just that's about it man i don't know either way guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the episode boom hit it with that like button and i'll see you for the next one peace peace peace